Alright, I'm back. Uh, I'm going to show the meter installation here. I'm going to shut the door. Oops, hit a piece of metal. So, um, centered the punch holes here. And the punch marks. One meter here, one meter here. I was going to put them over here, putting them over here instead, because the tank circuit needs a lot of room on this side. So, I'm going to use my stepper bit to bring it up to the size of my Greenlee punch draw bolt. Unfortunately, I cannot find the pieces for my hydraulic punch, so I'll have to make do with this. This will work fine, just more labor. Um, I always put the, I'll tape off the back, but I put the cup on the back surface so it doesn't mark up the front. And I uh, always want to oil the cutting edge and um, I mean the cutting piece so it goes through easily so I'll punch the holes and I'll be back I tried going from the top down but it the top is slightly uneven so I went from the side when I marked the line it was slightly crooked so I went from the side over and they are perfectly centered okay so I'll be back okay so the holes are punched focus put some tape on the other side so what I do is I ever so carefully make a hole that's the exact same size as the draw bolt here I'll go ahead and oil here just the slightest bit with this with some cutting oil and I put the cup side on the outside and the cutting edge on I'm sorry the cup side on the inside yeah and then the cutting edge cut, cutting piece on the outside sorry tongue twisted okay so I'm gonna get to work I'll be back hey voila two holes cut perfectly lined up with each other so now I need to drill the two holes for the mounting screws and uh Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com. I'm back. Okay, so meters are installed. I have the grid current meter and the plate current meter perfectly aligned with each other. So uh, switches are in. I uh, don't have the nuts on them and then the feed throughs aren't installed. So this will have to come off again so I can drill the holes for the um, plate and load shafts when I install those. So I'm going to show you what I did. Put a point on one cap across each one. I have all Teflon wiring. It actually enters this uh, braided material to shield it. Uh, copper strap over here and then a tab soldered over there. This is a wall. Nobody uh, in Canada want to see what I meant by this. So basically this will, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it yet. I think I will. But um, Depends on, I'll probably have to punch a hole. I'm probably not going to be able to use this as the wall that the caps mount to. I'll probably have to put another bracket here and then punch a big hole so the puller can stick through it. So, but this will give shielding. So as you can see, there's a lip with a screw with holes already in the chassis and it secures on the side and over here. So you can also reverse it the other directions. You know, flip it, turn around. Okay, so I'll be back. I'm going to flip it over. I'm not going to do that um, with the camera rolling. I'll be right back. See you soon. As actually, you could see, crimp soldered all the connections and uh, heat shrink. Everything's up tight. Hey, I'll be right back. Hey, that braided material enters over here through the floor. I ended up going that way, like I said. Um, so, also grounded, and then it's through the the uh, clamps here holding it nice and neat so Teflon you wouldn't be able to do that with standard wire you burn the insulation off <laughs> so that's how it's looking next step will be uh, making the plate choke I have the um, all the specs for that it's gonna be really short this Teflon rod I'll be using 19 gauge enamel wire so, probably be doing that tomorrow, as long as no parts show up for the amps today. 
Um, so it's coming along. Just don't wanna don't wanna make any crazy mistakes. I ended up plugging that hole right there with a chrome hole plug, so like it never happened. Uh, okay, so thanks for watching. Once again, please like, share, and subscribe so you can get a notification on when I post another video. Take care. See you soon.